Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family, and I'm going to make a little bit of dinner today, and I'm going to show you how to make one of the most delicious hamburgers that you've ever had. You don't need a hamburger bun. All you need is some puff pastry and some ground chuck. And now I have just a little bit over a pound of ground chuck here, and I'm going to put it in my frying pan here. Now I've made these patties uh, about slider size. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Um, so I'm going to salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper on it. And a little bit of salt. Because this is all the seasoning we're using. And I'm going to sprinkle just the tiniest bit of garlic powder on it. Granulated garlic, whichever you have. And we're going to get these back here on the stove and get them cooking. Okay, so when those get done, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so in this frying pan, I'm going to put some onion. And I'm going to get this onion caramelized for this hamburger. I think it's going to be delicious and quick and easy to make. So I'm going to be letting this onion cook while the hamburgers are cooking. So you see how I did that? I cut that burger, I'm sorry, the onion in half and then I'm just going to just go down it I don't like to get the peels in my, when I'm cutting up onions, y'all. Um, I'm just going to go down. I'm going to cut it on the thinner side. You don't want it too thin. You don't want it paper thin, but you don't want thick slices either. And we're just going to throw it right here in this oil. So when I put this on the stove and that gets heated up and that oil gets to cooking those onions, it's not going to take it long to get caramelized, caramelized, however you say it. And we're going to put a little bit of salt. And we're going to put a little bit of pepper in here. So, I'm going to put some pepper. And don't be afraid to put some pepper on it. It's going to make it good. And some salt. You want some good flavor because the only seasoning we put... And that meat was what we put on the very top. So we wanted to really get some flavor in there. Okay, so let me get this going. And when I get done with this hamburger and these onions, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we put them together, okay? I decided while the hamburger and the onions was cooking, I was going to put together a salad. I have got uh, some mixed grains here. It is called half and half. It's baby spinach and a spring mix. Isn't that some beautiful colors in there? So fall looking. So let's put us a big handful in our bowl. I love baby spinach and a salad. It's so fresh and crispy. It just keeps it crispy to me. Now, I have, let me scoot that a little bit so you can see. I have a tomato here. Now, I went ahead and peeled it. This is getting to be about the end of the vine ripened tomatoes. Y'all, I thought fall was almost here. And then last week, we surely got a good taste of it. It was in the low 80s, and it felt so nice. This week, it's back up in the 90s, but you know it won't last long. So, let's get this tomato cut up. And get this put over in this beautiful bowl. Let me get something to get this tomato juice up with. It's not hurting anything, though, is it? And I should have cut that over the salad and let all those juices dripped in there shouldn't I that would have been good have you ever taken tomato 
and rubbed it on toasted bread. Oh my goodness, it's good. Okay, so let's do away with that. Now see, isn't that so pretty so far? Looky there. I'm going to add a few. Remember the other day when we made the charcuterie board? I put some pepperoncinis on there. Well, I've got this big jar that I needed to do something with. So I'm going to put some in this salad. And you know what else they're good for. Have you ever had a Mississippi pot roast? Yes. But an idea, I need a spoon. An idea that my daughter-in-law Carrie gave me, because I would use these whole peppers when I made the Mississippi pot roast. She says, get the ones that are already sliced. You don't have to fool with the stem. There you go, great idea. I did that and it was amazing. Now looky there. See, now I'm gonna get this covered and I'm gonna set it in the refrigerator. So when Pop gets home, we're ready to eat. All I have to do is open it up, set out the salad dressing, and we're ready to eat salad. So let me get that set aside. And I'm gonna go finish these hamburgers and these onions, and I'll be back with you in a little bit, okay? Okay, y'all, I have taken up my hamburgers and the onions. Now, I didn't let them totally caramelize. I just got them real soft. They were right at that edge, but you can let them totally caramelize if you want to. Now, what we're gonna do next is I've got a sheet pan here, a baking pan, and I'm gonna spray it with a little nonstick spray. No sense in cooking something if you don't get it off the pan, right? So I have a box of puff pastry and I've let it thaw in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna, let me move this down so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna lay it out here on my cutting board and I've got my rolling pin and I'm just gonna roll it a little bit. Mainly, I just wanna soften those folds where they, where it was folded up. So, let me get a knife. I didn't get my knife. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, cut it in half. And do I wanna cut it in half again? I'm gonna cut it in half again. I've already got some made over here ready to go in the oven, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. I've got a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of mustard squirted on these. So, I mean, that's what we put on burgers, right? And if you don't want it on there, don't put it on there. You put what you want. If you want a steak sauce, put a steak sauce. Pop likes steak sauce on his burger sometime. Okay, so then, we're gonna, I have just got, got just some sliced cheese. And if you can buy it already sliced, slice it yourself. That's fine, go right ahead. I'm using these American singles. Okay, and see, and that's what I'm doing. Bring up one corner, bring up the other corner. See how we've done? And then you're gonna bring up, oops, get back up there, buddy up the other corner, and you've made this nice, neat little package. Now we're gonna pinch these edges together because we want all that goodness to stay in there. See, and we have a nice, beautiful little package. And we're gonna put them on this sprayed baking sheet because I wanna be able to get it off, okay? All right, so. Bring up that corner and bring up that corner. If you don't want to put cheese on it, you don't have to. You put your favorite, whatever you would put on your burger, that's what you put on here. I wouldn't suggest putting lettuce, tomatoes on it. You might could put a slice of a Roma tomato and uh, cause it'll hold up a little better. And that's it. Looky there. 
I've got six perfect little packages. Now I'm going to get these in the oven. I have my oven heated, preheated to 400 degrees and I'm going to put these in the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 15 minutes. And when I get done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay. I've taken the burgers out of the oven and I want you to look here and the cheese oozed out. That just makes it that much better. Looky there. Oh, I like the cheese that oozed out in the pan. All right. So let's, let's see if we can try one. It's going to be hot. here. Mmm, that's flakiness. I don't want to burn myself. That pan is hot. Let's see if we can slide it out of the way. Oh, let's cut it in half. Yeah, look in there. Can you see that? Ooh, my goodness. So let's try it. I mean, see there, ooh, it's hot. You've got this burger and one neat little package. And you don't need a bun. And you've got this pastry that's flaky. Oh my goodness. Now, what was, I'm letting this cool off. What was left, because we had a couple of pieces, a couple of squares of pastry left, and had some onions left. So I put some onions and cheese on those two squares, and I've got those in the onion uh, oven. So we'll just have a little cheese and onion tart out of those. So I can't wait to try those. And uh, I hope they come out. And if they do, I'll send you, I'll link a picture of them with this, okay? So let's see if we can try this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's so good. And hot. <laughs> So good and hot. Mmm. I think you should try this. I really do. And if you do, let me know what you put on yours, okay? And um, how you do it, what you leave off, what you add to it. You can add some jalapeno peppers on there if you wanted to. Some mild peppers like I did in the salad. Just, it's, it's endless. However you want to build a burger. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Thank you for joining me today. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know if you make this and what you think about it. I enjoy having each of you in my kitchen with me, and I hope you'll come back soon. Please like, share, subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.